this will let on. And I am here standing alone on the summit of Apocrypha, a lone survivor of a titanic battle against the first dragonborn Mirak. And we have taken everything from him, including a wagon load of dragon souls, apparently, which we will use to unlock more shouts, including dragon aspect, which supposedly will give us the strength, the resilience, and the power of a dragon. Now, we weren't able to use that during the battle. It may it have been uh, handy. But we handled Mirak all the same. Let's try it out. Um, dragon aspect. Only usable once a day. Oh well. <gasps> All right. I don't know if I feel like a dragon. Certainly look different. Uh, anyway, we'll try to make use of this on another day when we actually have people to fight. All right. Oh. Right. Apparently this black book gives us access and the ability to change our perks, our abilities. But I have no desire to. No powers this time. All this book does is return us to Saul's time. Oh well, we've taken everything. Time to go back. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Yes, Lady Freya. Your father's death has been avenged. Mirak will never threaten your people or land again. Thank you. Whatever your other reasons for acting, you have done the Skull a great service. We will not forget what you have done. Ah, all right. One more thing, Skull. Yes. If you will. I know it is not my place, but... May I offer a word of advice? Of warning? Uh, of course, Lady Freya. As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skullfriend. Uh, farewell, my lady. A higher purpose. Indeed, our true work lies elsewhere, out there. All right, we are back here in Villa Lavril, where we have taken the liberty of, uh, well, taking care of some of the stuff we recovered from our last adventure. Because our displays are still here. And uh, the items that we've been collecting. And, of course, someone familiar. Yes. Mr. Mirak, yeah? Well, what was left of him? 
his ugly sword and his much uglier staff and his admittedly cool outfit and mask they're just his clothes though as far as I can tell there's nothing left of the man or his presence or his power if there's any trace of him here it's just his body odor no, not even now Hermamora took care to erase him from existence Well, you're going to stay here. And you're... Ugh, it's writhing. Ugh. You gotta stay here. You did live here in Soul's time after all. Not bringing you back to Skyrim. Now you're staying right here. Here inside the heart of Villa Lavril. And, of course, we have done other things on our return here. And we have here a familiar face, Mr. Rales Sidaris. So all things all right, yes, enjoy your bread, my friend. Our former associate in a rather Sarah. Uh, tragic mining venture. I found him drowning his sorrows over at the wretching net. Nothing, nothing. He was drowning his sorrows at the wretching net, as I said. I felt that, uh, well, I took him over here back to the, to the manor. And I made him my steward to take care of this place, to oversee it. And to have a place to live. He'll be taking care of this place. When I leave, when I head back to Skyrim. Ah, hello. Hmm. Can I see your wares, my friend? So... You wish to master the arcane arts. Yes. Before we head off, I should take the time to buy any spells that I want from Talvis here. Perhaps to sell uh, things. Scrolls I will never use. Perhaps dispose of the spiders. Maybe I should keep those spiders, the ones I got from that uh, White Ridge barrel, and probably take them over to Winterhold. I, maybe the people at the college could uh, take a look at them. Anyway. So Hold that's still. Place. Let me get a good look yes. at you. What are you looking for? Huh? Incipient madness, loss of self-awareness, black spots in the whites of the huh. eyes. Any of the documented indications of Hermaeus Mora's permanent influence. Almost doesn't oh. feel like Skyrim. Hmm? No, you look fine. Well, at least no different than when I first saw you. Ah, all right. Don't you want to know what happened with Mirak? Who? Oh, him. Well, I assume you killed him. Or Hermaeus Mora turned on him when you looked like the winning bet. Or a bit of so, both. Huh. Mirak's influence has vanished from Solstein. So, I assumed you handled things. Why? Did something interesting happen? Ah, uh, no, nothing interesting. As you said, I just killed Mirak and saved Solstein. Yeah. Well, that is what you hero types do, isn't it? I wasn't expecting anything less. <laughs> Now all that's left are these black books. It's a shame I haven't located any more. So much more to be learned. Well, if I find any, I'll be sure to these are pay your visit. To be honest, I'll probably miss this place. And the old man. This 
despite everything I do consider Neloth a friend? Perhaps. Mirak was a formidable opponent. I wonder what he would have been like as my apprentice. There. Anyway, uh, apprentice, eh? Finally, I can get back now, to work. I'll miss you too, old boy. <sighs> now, we won't actually return to Skyrim right away. I wish to... Is that a dragon? Ah! Get the hell? Ah! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Who's... Ah! The hell? Who's throwing fireballs at me? Cheeky bastard, I I just saved this island and you're throwing fireballs at me, you. Uh, who are you anyway? Uh, who are you? What the hell? Some sort of. Uh oh. Uh, uh. The dragon. Anyway, are you dead? Who are you? A river lord, apparently, and his henchwoman. Uh, he actually died in a Rather cozy position. Huh. Well, I I'm happy for you too, I guess. I hope you uh, enjoy each other. We take that. Ooh. This man's actually loaded. Oh. I don't really need luck picks. Uh, wow. Very nice for hammer and armor. Death brand, yes. Fiery touch. Uh, there's the boots. Uh, you can keep the boots. If you can even call them boots. Anyway, yes, uh, we've seen the Death Brand book. We know about the Death Brand armor. We already have a piece, the helmet. I guess this is one of the loose ends that I have to wrap up before we leave. A legendary suit of armor would be a nice souvenir. Oh, and this is the armor. Let me see. It seems to be just a regular, well, it's Stalrim, and it decreases stamina. Spectacular. Anyway, I assume, well, I think, that once you bring the whole thing together, it will have even more properties. But for now though, yes, uh, let's consult the Death Brand map, which we do have. Let's see how many more pieces that we can get. Where is it? I really should sell some of these things. Now we're going to buy a house. After all, we're going to, back to go back to Skyrim, buy a house, put them all in the library. Where's the map? Death Brand map. Death Brand map. Death Brand Contract. Yeah. 
hell I have so many things in here? Recipes for spiders, spell tomes, Ethereum wars, treasure hunters, notes, what's this? Ah. Ah. Where's that map? Deathbrand map. Where is it? It's not anywhere here. Ah, there it is. It was just in the other items. Alright, we've found... Huh. Alright, we've already found the one here and on the other side. Yeah. Of course, they have to be on opposite ends of this coast. Wonderful. Alright. Let's go to the one nearer to... Uh, tell Mithrid, and we'll head for the one that's to the north later. Well, I think uh, we'll, when we uh, eventually leave Solstheim, at least, we'll have left this place more more prosperous, more peaceful than we were when we came here, when we first came here. Oh. What's that? Oh, is that just a dragon corpse? I found that dragon skeletons in particular are very light. They're actually... Dragon bones are actually hollow, like a bird's. It's not to say that they're light like a feather, they're heavy, but they're lighter than you'd think. It's actually why they make great material for making armor. Now, if you're dead, why aren't you bone? I think you're just skin. sure I absorb your soul anyway, but well, whatever. Right. A bit wet from that bit of swimming. Alright. Very useful spell for one such as I. Should have brought that uh, pair of water walking boots we got from Azizal's uh, tomb. Can't be bothered to bring it out of the storage anyway. Uh, where is it? Yep. It's across that harbor like. Hopefully we won't encounter anyone trying to kill us here. We've already cleared out the, the reavers in that shipwreck slash camp. Actually, we've done so multiple times. I really don't know where these reavers come from. I think they come here from the mainland, from Morrowind actually. Just come here on boats, just take up positions. Uh, ah, fort. Or is it port? Port Frostmus? Just follow the coastline, I guess. Should be somewhere over there at the foot of Telmithrin, along the coast. Oh, it's 
keep on your guard, Vril. You never know. Something might suddenly come running. I mean, you just got attacked by a Reaver Lord. Like fireballs. Not sure though which places is more dangerous Skyrim or this place. be here somewhere. Treasure hunting always makes me a bit hungry. Hmm. Now, if I was a legendary pirate, where would I bury my armor? Should it be here? Should be around here. I'm just missing it. Uh, this is that inlet. This is the little. I should... Yes, it's definitely one, and it's near Telmithrin. Could be here. No, it has to be. Oh, what's that? Oh, another dragon skeleton. It's across the water. It has to be there. It has to be there somewhere. Over... Yeah, it should be over there. Is how silly of me. Is that right here? Huh. And uh, who are you? Dead treasure hunter? Another dead treasure hunter? Did you kill each other over this treasure? Or did someone kill you and just leave without the treasure? Because it's still locked. Perhaps they went off to look for lockpicks or a locksmith. Deathman boots. Increase your kind pasty by 10 for each piece of armor. Hmm. You know, this death brand armor really isn't blowing me away with its amazing abilities. But uh, let's give it a, let's give it a benefit of the doubt. There's one more piece that we have to get. It's all the way over there. I wish I could have brought a horse. Oh. I'm pretty sure those two bodies change positions. Not going to ask how that happened. Perhaps someone came along and uh, moved them. 
not going to stay to find out because I'm already creeped out as it is. me you really have any idea of who I am okay, probably not just a scratch yeah just a scratch yes After you kill someone like uh, the first Dragonborn, common bandits and reavers are a little more than them. Uh, I'd put them somewhere between cockroaches that you step on and uh, very irritating nose hairs. That's how threatening you are, or annoying to me at this point. At least I can still get loot from you. Hmm. Huh. Very useless. But still, we can sell it. Anyway... It's better if I dispatch you on site anyway, because you'll probably just waylay some other traveller, give it a chance, so you're better off becoming compost. Alright, uh, the Rider and Guard should actually just put an outpost of men here, they just, just garrison this place. I mean, it's already there, they just have to put men there. I should suggest that to Councillor Morvain or Second Councillor Adril before I leave. Hmm. What's that? Uh, probably some animal. Alright, it's somewhere. Ah, right. I, I am not. I'm not liking this place. I do recall that this is a reekling country. And we all know how much I love reeklings. And how they love me. What the? Who's there? Don't tell me another bandit. Where are you? Come on. Oh, there you are. Huh. Lightning wolf, eh? Well, I'm the lightning wizard. Eh. Here. Probably somewhere over there, but uh, let's check this place out. Maybe there's something I missed. Mm. No, this is just someone's idea of a private fishing spot. <laughs> Oh, so that's what it was. A really oddly acting deer. Anyway. Alright. 
place is actually rather spooky at this time. The bandit actually came at me without making too much noise. It was rather disturbing, but well. Uh, Could actually just keep the uh, keep the light off. The track lets attention, but then again, I don't want to be fumbling about in the dark. Of course, casting a light pretty much makes me a target for everything within a ten-mile radius. But well, let them come. <coughs> I mean, uh, I'm not afraid of anything. I killed dragons for crying out loud. Why would I be afraid of anything in this world? What was that? I went right away. Where is this damn thing? Why am I even trying to look for this damn sort of armor? I, do, I won't even wear it. I'm sure I will never wear this thing. White is not my color. Um, it's it's the OC in me. I, I just have to collect everything. It's almost like those damn. What was that? Something was moving. It's like, uh, it was like it's like those damn Charles eggs. Ooh. Alright, uh, up! Whoa! Alright, uh, uh, let's just ignore the net, and they'll probably ignore us. Creepy, creepy net. Is someone shooting at us? Someone shooting arrows at me? Oh. oh no. Oh no. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, weaklings. Damn it. Didn't I already exterminate you? Oh. Things must sprout out of the ground like fungus. Let's have some chain lighting. Oh, ow. Love chain lightning. Just fire and forget. Fire at your foes and forget they exist. <laughs> oh. 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 Alright. Oh. Look at that. Amazing spell. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> One more. Where, where, where? Ah, there you are. Anyone else? Come on. Who else wants to die at the hands of the walking thunderstorm, huh? Stupid little spears. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Bye bye. Alright. Ah. Now it's all quiet again. Wonderful. Let's just get that last piece and get out of here. Where is it? 
I'm pretty sure. Ah, there it is. Another one of these Saturnalia chests. And hopefully, the last piece of the Death Brand armor. Ah, yes, the gauntlets. And the key. So there's a place that we have to go to to find the last part of the treasure, apparently. There's someone still firing spears at us. You know, you can't really... Ow. You can't really hurt me with those stupid spears. I mean, no. Yeah. Oh. All right. So it's not enough that we have to go look for this. All these pieces of the armor. We still have to go to some battle. And I do hope that it's worth our while eventually. Going to have to research to find this gilded hull barrel, whatever it is. Anyway. Oh. Hello? Brilliant. Yes, I am. Hello. Need something? Very friendly chaps, these hunters. Very refreshing as well to meet someone. This island who isn't trying to kill us or eat our face. Uh, anyway. I think after we took out most of the enemies on this island, uh, it should be a bit safer. That's why there are more friendly hunters walking around. Just ignore them. I think I've killed enough freaklings for one day. Let's make our way through. Maybe we can cut through inland to Raven Rock. Do fancy walking along the coast again and get, potentially get myself wet. Where am I? Um, So that oh ah oh I've been here before and thankfully this place hasn't been repopulated ah, ah all right now we, we I think yes ah yes we get go through the other side the oh abandoned lodge maybe we can. Stay at that abandoned lodge. We stay there for the night, maybe? I'd like a real roof over my head, after all, instead of just casting the Conjure Shelter spell. Uh, where is it? I just stay there. And again, yes, when we head back to Skyrim, I do intend to buy a house in Whiterun. We have amassed quite a bit of a fortune, actually. I think we can afford it. Ooh. Ah, this must be the lodge. Hopefully, there won't be any occupants. Uh, what the hell? Um, who are you? Um, what the? Ah! Foul! What the hell? They have Salmo here? Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Hey, wait a minute. I do remember. You, you're the ones. Oh, shut up. Ow! Right. 
Ow. Ah! Ah! Damn it. All right. I kind of underestimated you. I won't do that again. You are, after all, an outlaw like me. Right, he's dead, I think. Yes, you must be the elves who kidnapped that you should have skull blacksmith. Anyone else? All right. Yes, I remember now. Uh, that Smith who was gone missing. Party taken away by some elves. And here we found some Dalmor. You have a key? Huh. Oh. I'll take that. Good for selling. And if you have a key. Another poorly equipped Salmo. I guess you're trying to blend in with the surroundings. Not wearing the customary moonstone armor. Oh. And one of these guys has to have the key. Oh, nice. Someone has to have the key. Uh, did I miss anyone? Uh, huh. This is... Oh, there you are. Come here. Yeah. There you go. Oh. I grow impatient with your lack of progress. If you cannot break the smith, I will force to find a more capable interrogator. I expect your next report to contain more encouraging results. A. Ah, there's a key. A. 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 Ah, right. Cozy little place. A gentleman's Guide to White Run. Oh. Help! Somebody! That almost made me jump out of my boots. Who's that? I guess that's probably our missing Smith. And apparently, there are no more Thalmo, otherwise, he wouldn't be able to. <coughs> ah, there you are. Hello. By the Allmaker. I, I, I hope you're here to release me. Yes. Outsider. I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the Allmaker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. Ah, are you hurt badly? Do you need healing? No. No, my wounds are not serious. I don't think the elves were trying to harm me. Perhaps they intended to frighten me. At worst, I have a few bruises to show for my ordeal. Why would the Talmor abduct you? I do not know this word, Thalmor. But if you mean the elves, they were trying to learn the secrets of forging Stalrin. Their leader, an elf named Ankarian, has a map. He says that oh. it shows the location of a hidden Stalrin, source of Stalrin. Eh? Uh, where can I find this Encarion? They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Please, do not let Encarion make his weapons. 
Kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the skull. I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. May the All Maker bless your days. All right. If you say so. Well, you're a big enough man. You're not injured. I think you'll be able to get, make it back home on I your know. own. I had to be free of those elves. I've never seen such greed and treachery in a creature before. Oh. Don't get me started. Anyway. You then to Skyrim. Lots of greed there. You will find the elf ship at anchor along the northern coast of the island. The one named Ancarian. Ancarian. Mr. A, I presume. Oh. You sure you're all right? Uh, Anyway, yes. Are we already here? Maybe we should rest here and make for Ancarion in the morning. actually quite a nice place to stay in. Very bare in the facilities, but it's quite adequate. Considering that this really is, uh, well, lucky to even have a lodge here in, uh, here in uh, ash-covered solstheim. And you have a Dwemer ruin behind you. Maybe I should stake a claim here and uh, purchase this uh, lodge for myself. <laughs> now, now, what I say, really, you already own a house here in Solstein. Anyway, north of the island, eh? so let's just head north. Carrion, of course, typical Thalim, typical Thalmor, Altman name. Probably arrogant as hell, but we'll see. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Tube of some sort, and it has Stalrim. Could this be the Stalrim source uh, that uh, Smith uh, Baldo was talking about? Here, I found it without even having the map. <laughs> really fascinating, this Stalrim. Magical ice, you say. Ice that formed around the bodies of these ancient lords. I wonder if it occurs naturally of the or if there's something about the burial process which causes it. Uh oh. Uh, let's just ignore them. North North. Uh oh. They're after me, aren't they? Uh oh. Oh, come on. Oh. There's no one even riding the thing. Oh well. Just. Ah! Water looks incredibly cold, and I think we've overshot our death. Oh, 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 is that a ship I see? Alright. Oh, 
and it's beginning to snow. Ooh. Can we survive the fall? Of course not. Uh, how do we get down there? Preferably before we freeze to death out here. Perhaps I could use the ethereal shout. Hopefully it lasts before I hit the ground. Here goes. Fight! Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh. 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 All right. Woo. Do not try that at home, children. I'm a professional. Ooh, I have to say that was exhilarating. My heart is in my throat, but it's uh, okay. Ooh. All right. All right. Salvor. Let's. You are trespassing here. I strongly suggest you move on. I have business to discuss with your leader. You will find him on the deck. Any hint of treachery, and your life is forfeit. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> you know what? I'm just in a very good mood. Otherwise, you'd all be dead. All right, I assume you're a carrion. You are interfering with official Tholmore business. You will leave immediately, if you value your well -being. I'm here about the starry map. So you know my purpose here, then. I suppose you must have found that dullard of a blacksmith. Unfortunately for you, my mission here is also a secret. To protect it, I have no choice but to silence you. Now, give me one good reason that I should not kill you where you stand. <laughs> Leave now, or you will all die. I can see that is no idle threat. Very well. We will depart the island once we have loaded the ship. No weapon is worth dying for. Not even a weapon forged from Stalwin. Here, give this map to the blacksmith. I have no further need of it. Ah. All right. Hmm. Uh, at least he was a reasonable sort. Well, an easily intimidated sort. Huh. Out of my way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You'd best show us the proper respect. If that's even possible for someone. Your words say one thing, but your soiled pants say another. It's uh, getting a bit cold. Too far from anywhere warm. I don't think the Thalmor will share their fires. Uh, Alright, it just won't do for us to freeze to death in front of them, so. Guess we'll have to make camp here. Had quite a busy day. Guess it's time we hunker down for the night. Ah, right. Oh, I love this smell. Saved me quite a few times. Please, let there be firewood here, please. Please. Uh, oh, just enough. Ah. All right. So we have the Death Brand map. Well, now the Death Brand armor. 
we have the star rim map which we'll return to the smith next time we head back to the skull village and perhaps we'll go find this barrel where we'll find the rest of the deathbird treasure but now though let's just uh, try to relax enjoy the night over a hot roasted fire with some stew Have a nice little relaxing night's rest. <sighs>